Greetings. Greetings from Guadalajara, Mexico. Uh, just arrived two days ago. This is the, the roof of where I'm staying. And the neighborhood is uh, Colonial Medicon. So, I wanted to talk today about the topic of uh, the things I've learned from living abroad. I've lived abroad for more than 10 years in more than a dozen countries, visited a lot of countries. Every country I've lived in, and, and by lived in, uh, I specify that as any country where I've either worked there or studied there, anywhere you had to survive. I wasn't there just traveling, but I was actually doing something there. So... I think the first thing I learned, which is the most important lesson um, from the first country I ever lived in, which uh, was South Korea. And South Korea, I went there after I graduated from university. And I went there to be an English teacher, mainly because uh, I knew I liked Korean food. I wanted to travel. I thought Korea was an interesting country. And at the time, there was a lot of opportunity there. Basically, that to be an English teacher, all you really needed was a college degree. No experience. Um, so, I, I, any one of these countries that I've lived in, I could, I could do a whole podcast about. But I just want to talk about what did I learn. Um, like I said, that, that first country I lived in, South Korea, was probably the most important country. Uh I've ever lived in because I learned the most important lesson, which was if you go to a new place, the rules change. Rules of society are not set in stone. Uh, you know, I, I've been in the United States where I'd gone through high school, got through college, um, thinking that I was just an average guy. You know, not ugly, not handsome, just kind of average average attractiveness, average potential, in that sense at least. And I got to South Korea, and all of a sudden, I was beautiful. I, I was constantly getting compliments on how handsome I was, how good-looking I was. And you had a lot of attention from Korean women, and it was absolutely incredible. Um, and I, I just thought, wow, like... I flew on a 10-hour flight from the United States to South Korea, and the rules that I've lived with my entire life just changed, you know, just like that. And it kind of reinforced in my head the idea of, um, if you don't like the rules, break them. If you don't like the rules, go somewhere where the rules are different. Don't break the law, but break the rules. Um, so, you know, that, that just really reinforced me living in South Korea that um, if I don't like how it is in one place, I could go to another place and that's a different set of rules. I'm not constrained by what I... See, I, I thought it was a constant. I thought the things I lived with in the United States were constants, and they weren't. As soon as I went to another country, they weren't constants anymore. Um... Other countries I lived in. I moved to Germany to study. And Germany, I learned to be my own teacher. Uh, I studied at the university there. I was studying engineering physics. Um, in Germany, the teachers don't teach at the university. It's a very much go figure this out yourself, go teach yourself. And I was studying a, a pretty complicated topic, right? So it wasn't the type of subject where... You want to just go figure it out yourself. But I ended up teaching myself calculus on my own. Uh, it was just one of the harder things I've ever done in my entire life. Um, and listen, I, I failed a bunch of tests in the beginning. Um, and how it works in Germany is basically you have a class. And then at the end... You take the, the final exam. If you pass the final exam, you pass the class, and you have three attempts to take that exam. So as long as you pass by the third attempt, you pass the class. Simple as that. They don't grade you on homework. They don't grade you on attendance. There's no midterm. It's literally just that final test. So 
yeah, what I learned from Germany was to be my own teacher. I learned how to I, I gain the confidence that I could literally teach myself anything. And that, that was a great life lesson that's carried over to the rest of my life. Because um, since then, I've taught myself the computer program. Uh, I've taught myself essentially how to be a good teacher. Uh, I wasn't formally trained in any of this stuff. It was just something I had the confidence that I could learn to do it myself. Uh, yeah, you know, this is uh, traveling is incredible. I think it's the best education you can ever get. Uh, like I said, every country I've lived in has taught me a life lesson that I couldn't have learned any other way. And sometimes it wasn't the lesson that I wanted, but it certainly was uh, beneficial lessons. Uh, so, yeah, you know, any of you out there, I don't care how old or young you are, if you get a chance to travel, please do it. It'll be uncomfortable. It'll be a little bit strange, but it'll be well worth it. So, uh, I'm going to stop there. And uh, maybe in a straight jacket podcast. I'm totally messed up.